Alrighty guys, uh, this video is for table saw safety, okay? Um, Alright, well, I'd like to start off by just showing you guys some of the parts of the table saw. Uh, these are important to know and um, just how it works. Uh, so to start off, we have the fence, which is this right here. This is what we're going to have our wood um, flush up against as we push the wood through uh, the saw. This is the fence lock up unlocks it and it allows you to be able to move this fence back and forth to the dimension that you desire so if you wanted it to be at four inches i would be looking right there it's at four tap it to be exact and i would push down on the fence lock that will lock it in place so now from the inside of my fence to the inside of the blade right here i will have a piece of cut material that is four inches okay this here is called the blade guard underneath it and move these up. As you can see, we have the saw blade, okay? Um, down here, we have the blade height hand wheel, okay? This raises and lowers how high up our blade is. So if uh, I want to raise the blade up more, I'm going to unlock this by unscrewing this, and then I'm going to crank on the hand wheel. Um, your blade should only be about a quarter of an inch higher than the thickness of the material that you're cutting. So for us in this case, I need to lower it to be right about there, and then I'm going to lock it back into place right here, okay? Um, this is the, uh, the power switch. To turn it on, you're gonna pull out on this red lever. That engages the saw to stop, like it says right here push to stack, okay? When um, using the saw, a couple things, we have to have safety glasses on at all times. Any jewelry or rings, um, they need to be taken off. So I'm gonna take off my ring and my watch. If you have long hair, make sure it's tied back with a ponytail tie. Uh, any long sleeves need to be uh, rolled up. You should always have closed toed shoes on or boots of some sort. Sandals are not allowed in the shop. Um, if you have any strings, like on a hoodie, they should be put inside of your sweatshirt, okay? So first thing you need to do is you need to set your desired dimension. So I'm gonna have it at four inches right here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna turn the saw on and I'm going to just push my wood towards the blade. Okay, this is called the push stick. So this is used when you get close to the blade, we don't get our fingers caught and you just continue to push with this, okay? So let's go ahead and make this first cut. All right, so again, I'm gonna use the push stick. I'm gonna slowly push it against the blade, and I'm just going to continue to push until the wood has been all the way cut. Once it's cut, I continue to push until my wood is about there, okay? You might have a partner that will grab it. Turn off the machine. Wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before removing any debris from this cut area. Okay, so now that it is completely stopped, I can take this little piece of wood out. Uh, now I have a four inch wide cut piece of wood. Okay, the last thing you need to do um, is you need to clean up the machine. It should be cleaner than when you found it. So we're just gonna take a little push, uh, not a push broom, a hand broom, and a dustpan and get it cleaned up, okay? Uh, Mr. Singer and I might have the sled on at times. This is when uh, used when we are cross-cutting. Um, that was when we go against the grain of the wood. Ripping is when we go with the grain of the wood. Uh, so if we have this set up, Mr. Singer and I will show you how to use it. Um, it's very safe, it has stops, uh, so it, it makes it so you, one cross-cutting um, you won't be able or you won't get injured. If you have questions, ask Mr. Singer or myself.